28 most abducted students of the Bethel Baptist Secondary School in Kaduna State have engaged their freedom. The students were found in the forest in the early hours of Sunday. It is unclear whether they were released in exchange for ransom. Earlier this week, another three of the students were found wandering in a village also in Kaduna State. More than 140 students were abducted from their school on July 8. Habila Darofa, a journalist, joins us live on phone. Good afternoon, Mr. Habila. Good afternoon, Yes, thank you for joining us. Um, so my first question is, what do we know about the release of these students? Were they um, released, were they rescued, or did they escape? What exactly do we know about, about it right now? Okay. Actually, the children we are, we are released mm -hmm. based on the, according to uh, our found source said, the, there was an ransom that was paid, which the body doesn't want to uh, technically say it's that the ransom was paid, but there was an ransom being paid for the rescue of the children. We just said 100 uh, million was paid for the uh, release of the children. Okay, some of 100 million was paid, if I got you clearly. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, what, what's the next step right now? As regards Pardon? to this. You said? What's the Hello? next step? What is the next step? Yes, well, uh, the next step was uh, they were converted at the school premises there. They united uh, them back with their parents. But it was a misfeeling re uh, reaction. Why some of the parents were crying, and some of them were so much depressed as uh, looking at the condition of the children. As the children, some of them cannot be able to walk, some of them cannot due to the stress they undergo in, uh, at the den of the kidnappers. Okay. Okay, well, we thank God for the uh, um, release. But how is the community reacting to this, seeing that more of the students are still with the kidnappers? Yeah, the, the community uh, reaction was, as I earlier said, it was a mixed feeling based on what is happening. And some of the sources interviewed says the adopters, they are going to be releasing the children on badges. So that is why they, uh, they release between eight adopted students today. So subsequently, they will be releasing them one after the other. Okay, um, can you just give us a, um, an idea of the number of students that are still in captivity and also how old they are? Pardon, can you come again? I said, can you give us an idea of how many students are still in captivity and also their age range? Okay, you know, uh, actually the 121 students were, were at the den of the kidnappers, three were earlier uh, released. So about 80, uh, it is 80 uh, above students are still with the captives. This today 28 were, were released. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, the children there uh, is a mixed student, male and female, and some of them write from JS1, JS2, JS3 upwards. So the range ages shouldn't, they are not more than 20, below 20 or so. Okay, okay. Thank you for joining us. We hope for the uh, safe return of the remaining students in captivity. Thank you so much for joining us, Habila Darofai. We'll speak to you Thank some you very time. much. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.